everybody, welcome to Mike Koski's Kitchen. My name is Michael Shevsky. I'm the chef of my kitchen. And if you're tuning in, I hope you are being a chef of yours. This is what we do here. We make chefs of our own kitchen. We make meals for our family. We get our people back around the table. And I always say, if you cook it, they will come. Listen, it's early in the morning. You're probably thinking, what are you doing with a beer? I'm like, well, it's early in the morning. I mean, there's no certain time that you can't have a beer. Um, my, real, quick, real, real quick, funny story, my grandfather, who was Polish, every morning I'd come downstairs and I'd stay at his house and he would be sitting there at the kitchen table with a double shot of Kessler's and a beer. And I would say, Judge, what are you doing? He would say, this is my, this is my, my, my stomach medicine. He'd take a shot of that Kessler's and chase it with a beer. So I guess it's okay to have a beer in the morning. That's okay. And I walked out this morning and I'm thinking to myself, oh, hungry for an omelet, I'm hungry. And then all of a sudden, this music start playing in my head. Oh, you hear that? Uh, yeah, Polish music, polka music. Oh, it doesn't sound so good. So I'm thinking to myself, what can I do? Let's get creative. Let's get creative. Let's make an omelet <clears throat> with Polish flavors. Today I'm gonna to show you my original, my original pierogi omelet. <clears throat> simple, simple to do, simple to do. Some cheese, some pierogi, eggs, have some bacon. Now what I did with the bacon was I didn't even fry it on the pan, put a couple strips on the pan, put it in the oven 400 degrees, 12 minutes, and crumbled it up. That's your bacon. Onion, you gotta have onion with Polish food, right? And of course some butter, black pepper, and salt. That's it. You're gonna make yourself this most amazing Polish tasting omelet called the pierogi omelet. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but you gotta be careful because there's a steps that you wanna follow because it works out the best that way. If you can make an omelet at home, Western omelet, any kind of omelet, you can make the pierogi omelet. It's very simple. All we're doing is substituting some really, really, really good Polish flavors. So right now, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up these eggs, get over to the hot spot, caramelize some onions. I'm gonna chop this onion up, okay? I'm gonna caramelize it with some butter, and then we're gonna layer this thing up and make this one most amazing tasting omelet. You're gonna love it. I'll see you at the hot spot. Let's get cooking. Okay, guys, we're back. Here we go, hot spot. This is easy. This is making a, a ridiculous easy, easy omelet, but you're making it a Polish flavor. Even if you're not Polish, this is so daggone good. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this pan up right here to about medium to low, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing with some pan or any kind of nonstick because we want the egg to go in there at next. I've already mixed up my egg, added some salt and pepper to it, just for a little bit of taste, just for a little bit of flavor. When the pan heats up, we're gonna go ahead and put the egg in and I'm gonna show you the process of what to do next because remember, everything's done deliberately. We wanna make sure the cheese is in the right spot because what the cheese is gonna do is gonna bring the bacon and the onions and everything together. I'll be right back, let this pan heat up and I'll show you exactly what we're gonna do. It's gonna be a quick one. All right, great, so our pan's heated up. Again, medium heat, medium to low heat. We're gonna take our three eggs and I mixed up, again, salt and pepper in them. We're gonna just go ahead and drop this in here. Perfect. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it cook a little bit. And what we want, if anybody knows how to make an omelet, which I'm sure you all do, we're gonna keep pulling it away from the sides. And once it starts cooking in the middle, then we're gonna keep kind of, kind of tilting this back and forth like so to let the egg runniness run off and get back onto the heat of the pan. And then we'll keep putting it pulling it to the middle. So we want to make a nice little circle. I'm going to go ahead and keep watching this, but when you come back, we should be ready to start adding our Polish ingredients. You see how I'm kind of leaning it now? Just keep on doing that. And I can't, I like to pull just off the side of the pan and keep making that circle. Listen guys, I'll be back here just in a few. Let me cook. You should be cooking too. And when we come back, we'll wrap this puppy up. You're going to love it. All right, guys, we're back. Now look how what I've done it. So there's nothing, there's no more juice left on the egg. It's nice and done. I just kept pulling it back from the sides and keep making my circle. And I keep going like this. And when the juice of the egg or the, the liquid of the egg gets on the heat of the pan, it starts to cook, so you bring it back to the middle. So now we are bona fidely ready to make our pierogi omelet. First thing you wanna add are your pierogi. 
So let's go ahead and do that. Right there. And let's go ahead and overlap one right there. About, you wanna put it on half of it, okay? So you wanna make sure you put it on half of it. Next thing you wanna put on for the next part would be the cheese. We're gonna just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the cheddar, uh, cheddar cheese. We want that to melt onto the pierogi, pierogi, whatever you wanna say. Next thing you wanna do, you can hear it cooking, it's fantastic. We wanna add some bacon. Put it over the top. Just put it over to the top. That's all. So a little bit over the top. Perfect. Final please. Remember our onions? Let's go ahead and add our onion to the top of that. That, my friends, is all you have to do. Now, here's the tricky part. Want to get this egg lifted up and fold it over. Top of the pierogi. Just like this. I'm going to pull this pup back to the middle. I'm going to squeeze it down a little bit. All we have to do at this point now is wait for the cheese to melt because what the cheese is going to do, it's going to integrate the onions and the bacon all on top of the pierogi, and we are going to be ready to eat. That's all we have to do. Guys, this is super. It's so simple. It's so easy. It's so tasty. When I'm done here, I'm gonna throw it on this plate. I'll meet you back over at the workstation. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. Bye-bye. Everybody, welcome back. This is exactly where I love to be. It's the time to taste and eat this thing. Oh, I can, the smell in this kitchen, you wouldn't believe it. Listen, you got, you got onion, you have bacon, you have cheese, you have pierogi, you have egg. What more do you want in life? Honestly, this is the pierogi omelet being by yours truly. I'm going to try this thing. This is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and take myself a little cut. So I'm looking at this thing and I'm seeing egg. I'm seeing cheese. I'm seeing pierogi. Oops. I'm seeing onion. Oh Lord. And I taste them all. Mm. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. You have to make this for your family. You don't have to make it for breakfast. You don't even have to be Polish to make this. Pierogi omelet is fantastic. Go ahead and cheat, I don't care. Get yourself some Mrs. T's and have some good time with it. Just two pierogi in here, some bacon, some onion, some cheese, make yourself an omelet. An omelet with a taste that you will never, ever, ever regret. Mm. This is the good one, this is really good. Thanks for showing up, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a part of this. Subscribe if you haven't. We're building an army of chefs. And I'll tell you what, if you want to make family, get your family back around the table, cook it, they'll come, enjoy it. Man, this is tough times, but we can make great foods. So thanks for being here. And you know what? In my own special Polish way, as I always say, enjoy this. God bless you. And na zdrowia.